Hello, my name is Lisa Sharon Harper. I'm a theologian, writer, author, and activist. Here is my prayer for women of our nation today. Dear God, over the past several years, women have risen up and declared that time is up on the era of white male oppression with impunity. Women of faith, including evangelical women, have reclaimed our time and our minds, snatching them back from the control of white men who assumed leadership over conversations related to our bodies. They told us we had to be pure, Lord. They told us that we had to actually preserve our bodies while they went out and elected a man who bragged about grabbing our genitals and stands accused of sexually assaulting multiple women, including his own wife. They told us we had to close down Planned Parenthoods across the country, even though 99% of what that organization offers is women's health care for poor and working women who can't afford private health care. And they can't afford it because those same men lobby to shut down Affordable Care Act. They told us, God, not to listen to the cries of children being ripped from their mother's arms on our southern border, and not to listen to the wailing cries of mothers desperate to find their children again after four years of searching. And they told us not to watch the white women who sanctioned judicial chicanery. Don't just watch them, learn from them reach for their high position in the army, determined to protect the supremacy of white manhood. But God, we see them. We see them clearly now. We see a power as old as our nation, white patriarchy has been at war with you in a fight for supremacy on earth. And it declared that women, especially women of color, were not created to steward the world. We were created to be ruled. White patriarchy pushed back against suffrage. It entered black women's homes across the South and demanded the right to rape us with impunity. It sterilized women of color and then proclaimed to be pro-life. Our war is not against flesh and blood. It is against the principalities and the powers of this world. It is against the powers that we have vested in leaders, powers that have been used to oppress our own flourishing as women. God, we call on you to intervene over the next 24 hours. Free us, God. Free us from the vice grip of white patriarchy in our nation. Free women, all women, to steward ourselves and our families and our communities and our states and our nation and our world. Release our flourishing, holy God. Release the flourishing of more than half of the image of God on the earth. Release us. And God, with our release, release the flourishing of the image of God all over the face of the earth. May your people flourish. May humanity flourish. And may creation flourish because we are all connected, as Dr. King said, in a common fabric of destiny. Release women, God, so that all of us might be released. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Mm -hmm.